Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time to look at a little retrofit bulb. Normally I'm not that big of a retrofit fan. Um, I think those LED bulbs in an old fixture mostly just ruin the old fixture and give very shitty lighting quality. Because those old fixtures simply aren't made for LED. However, um, I have something that might change my opinion um, in that. And that's this bulb right here, which is um, one of the, I believe it's the newest Philips Retrofit LED bulb. Um, and it actually looks like a high pressure or mer mercury vapor bulb. That's pretty, pretty interesting. So it's called True Force Core. I don't know uh, why that name. 300 lumens, not very bright. 18 watts, uh, 400k. Um, I thought 400k would come closer to the mercury vapor light than 300k. As you can see, you can connect it just to the mains. You know, don't need a driver or ballast stuff or something for it. So, back here we have uh, a lot of languages and stuff. Here we have uh, some other information: 25,000 hours. Um, can turn it on and off 15,000 times so if you want you can just spend the entire day flicking the switch over and over again this bulb won't break instant startup not dimmable uh, very nice street light so yeah the uh, energy tag is C um, kind of misleading because normally LEDs would be A plus or something but they changed the scale of the uh, this energy saving stuff, so this is actually quite high on the new scale. So yeah, um, let's unbox the bulb itself. And here we have the Philips logo. Wonder why there isn't a Signify logo on there yet. Maybe that they just want to keep the Philips name. So, um, this is what the bulb actually looks, but we'll go over that thing later. There are some other stuff in the, pack in the packaging as well. This sticker. The luminaire has been modified and can no longer operate with the other originally specified lamp. But yeah, um, I don't think anyone ever puts those up in any fixture. Installment guide. Well, of course, we are all sort of electricians, so we know how that works. Um, the bulb itself, most interesting. It's made out of glass. Um, it actually seems to be thicker glass than a normal uh, mercury vapor or hyper sodium bulb, which is nice. On here, we have some um, information. 18 watt 400k 222 240 volts all that stuff e27 base so one thing that i think um, is very good about this bulb that's why i actually expect this to uh, keep up for a very long time is the fact that like normal retrofit bulbs are very heavy like the base right here snaps off because um when you put a heavy bulb like that in a big fixture that's like on a height of 10 to 50 meters or something the pole constantly shakes because of the wind and i mean that causes this to just break right here um that doesn't happen with the old bulbs because those aren't that heavy this one isn't that heavy either so um, i expect these to keep up for a very long time which is nice there's also this little thing on the top right here which uh, we know from the old hyper sodium and uh, mercury vapor bulbs, which is very unique. One thing um, that is less amazing about this bulb is the fact that it's actually the sizes do not add up at all. So I'll get a, a 70 watt high pressure sodium and a 80 watt mercury vapor. On the right is a uh, high pressure sodium, on the left is a mercury vapor bulb. As you can see, those are, I mean, as big as the uh, as each other then we have the LED bulb right here <laughs> which these sizes do not add up at all there's like I would say a five centimeter difference between uh, these two and then the 
LED. Um, it should work on that. In most fixtures it would probably just fit, um, but in some cases uh, I think it's going to be pretty difficult to, uh, to put these in here. And I'm actually going to put these to the test, which is something that I normally don't do, but I think I should do that more often. We're going to see how it looks to put this fixture in a, uh, to put this bulb in a fixture with a clear bulb, so you can actually see the bulb itself. And we're going to put this uh, bulb in a post-op fixture where you can't really see the bulb. But I want to see if that thing actually fits in there, because I don't really expect it to fit. So let's go outside and experiment with this bulb. So I'm out in the garden and it's time to install the LED bulb in the fixture right here. Um, I think that fixture works perfect for this, this bulb. It's actually very easy to install, which is uh, nice. We just open the uh, pole door right here. And we'll get these two um, cables out, out of the uh, mercury vapor ballast right here. And we'll just simply wake them up. And that's it. And obviously we have to replace the bulb to that one. Retrofit. There should be um, more than enough space in this fixture. Don't really worry about uh, the bulb not fitting any fixture. But um, we're going to do another fixture too. And I really do wonder if that will be uh, that will actually fit or not. But this. Fits perfectly. Looks pretty uh, decent. This really doesn't look bad. So this is how that, <laughs> that looks. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you uh, put a LED bulb in a fixture like this, this is the one, um, but the color temper temperature is just not not right. I mean, if they had, as I said before, a uh, mercury vapor color or a uh, high pressure sodium color, this would be amazing, but it's just not, I don't know. And let me know in the comments what you prefer, an LED fixture or a retrofitted fixture like this one. I'm going to convert this thing back to mercury vapor. Test number two, a post-op fixture. So obviously in this fixture it doesn't really matter what uh, what bulb you put in there, because I mean, who sees it? No one. But still, um, I wonder how it looks in a fixture like this. And I feel like the light matters more than uh, the actual actual uh, design of the bulb. So same story here. Just wake up these two wires. And you're done. Let's replace the high pressure sodium bulb right here. Let's put the LED in. I wonder if this uh, bulb is too big. It somehow surprisingly actually fits. So let's see how the light quality is. I do doubt that. Oh. That's a lot of light. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I should try this at night. But from what we can see, it looks fine too, still, as I said many times would prefer a better light color but I mean it's, it's decent so yeah that's pretty much uh, 
this bulb. It's actually quite hot. <laughs> kind of surprises me, it's really hot actually. So everything is back to normal and let's go back to the more boring me who is just talking about the bulbs instead of actually testing them. Weird guy. So here's the boring version of me just talking here, not doing anything. And as you can see the bulb isn't that bright, and but I still want to turn it on right here as well. So let's turn it on. So yeah, instant startup, <laughs> they really weren't lying about that. Um, to instant brightness but outside of that um, I really should try the four, uh, 300k light color because that might look better um, but overall I mean it's it's kind of bright once you lo actually look at it um, directly into it and it's a lot brighter still not as harsh to the eyes as some LED fixtures are um, which is better but yeah from the inside it's not that amazing of a bulb, but I think it actually works re decently well uh, outside. So let me know what you think about this bulb. Is it something that you actually would want in old fixtures or is this just not it for you? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.